to be able to do that. All right, but we're gonna stick with the Olimar. Going to FD for our first game, actually. Let's see how this goes down. Never mind, I forgot. The bus likes to do button checks, yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a little bit too. It looks like uh, some other people are starting to set up to play as well. I think we're getting into our next pool. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, should be a good time. If you're watching now, keep on watching. Uh, keep it locked here on, uh, well, BTS Smash, but also make sure you watch 2G Gaming as well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep, while they're uh, showing off their ledge trump tech skill. I haven't seen DeBuzz go for a single ledge trump though. Maybe he wants to in this matchup, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see. But ledge trumping in general just kind of been I don't know. It's been like a lesser used option. Yeah. Uh, except for like, uh, I think Nairo still like he he definitely uh, less trumps quite a bit. But mm -hmm. uh, ever since people have been able to pick their base like DI off of the ledge, they uh, people have been like not really less trumping as much. But yeah. I think just because of how tricky it is as a um, well not not how tricky it is the option, but how uh, unorthodox it is the option. People, more people should probably try to go for it. Yeah, I feel like right now the the meta is people aren't expecting it. So when you do go for it, they're not ready with the DI. So yeah. That's how I feel, but anyways, we're uh, gonna go ahead and get this match started for you guys. Yeah, and the Olimar, the Meta Knight. Of course, they added the, the Galaxy Meta Knight, so he just went straight to that skin. Because, uh, clean, why not? It's a skin. great skin. It's yeah. like that Meta Knight, and then also uh, the Old Man Meta Knight. That's my joint. Or like mm -hmm. the like the Scarred Meta Knight, like the I've Been Through War Meta Knight. Like, so yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that skin. Anyway, here we are, getting into our uh, first game. Meta Knight and Olimar are going to be heading up against each other. So, see what the buzz brings to the table against uh, S2H? Yes, or? S2H. Okay. Well, it's Slither 2 Hunter, but that's a little bit of a mouthful. So, we just call him S2H most of the time. Yeah. All right, buddy, here we go. <laughs> Keeping up the same game that we saw the buzz play uh, against Xenos, actually. This is like we're staying right outside of the range of the, the Pikmin arc, throw arc and then uh, going ahead and... Uh, just killing them when it, whenever he tosses them out. Yeah. All right. Trying to, trying to. Oh yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like he's trying to keep him over him, but like he's off the mark just uh, just a little bit on uh, getting those extra up airs as the bus like flies away. So either way though, just keeping it co, keeping competitive. Mhm. Mm oh, okay. the back air. Not quite gonna be able to do it yet, but the edge guards. Let's see what he goes for. The dare sends him off stage one more time. Gets it again with the nair, and he's just gonna have to be playing the same story oh, over like and that. over I, again. I, I was waiting for the tornado catch. That was a really good catch, and just the entire time, the buzz is off stage. He is like that's gonna be a hard thing for him to do. Meta Knight super active. Uh, he's got multiple jumps, so and the buzz not having a hitbox on his upbeat. He at least has to get close or over the stage before he's even allowed to like threaten with uh, an attack. So as long as um as, as long as S2H keeps going out there and being super aggressive off the stage, it's gonna uh, net him a lot of damage against the buzz. Yeah, he has the aerial navigation to do it. He has that tornado, that shuttle loop too was crucial for that when Olimar started going for the high recovery. He's still able to catch that, but now the buzz's opportunity to take him back off stage. Monique is available and so is the blue Pikmin, but not quite gonna be able to find anything. Yeah, he's, he's just trying to seal out the stock, but S2H has been doing a good job of bursting in when he knows he has the opportunity and not getting anti aired or anti approach like uh, Xenos was in the earlier set. All right. Quick low dash attack. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that was, that was it, a lot of things happening at once. <laughs> yeah, it looked like, it, I don't know, it looked like it clashed, but also beat it at the same time, or like he hit a shield with both parts of a uh, neutral air or something. Yeah, that was all right. Still trying to go off of the edge guards, but yeah, the buzz starting to mix it up. Double up smash into the up airs. The yellow Pikmin and the blue Pikmin set that up perfectly. Easy 43% damage. Maybe expecting to roll back in, but even if the buzz rolled in, I don't think his roll was that long for him to actually get hit right <laughs> there. So, so yeah, I, I'm definitely loving the uh, offstage play coming out from S2H, but uh, he's getting, he's going, he's going like a little too far down. Okay, he's, he's looking for some hard reads. He's going a little too far down <laughs> than I think he needs to uh, for when he does decide to like go go low. I think he, he can stay around the, like right around the edge and then uh, react accordingly to wherever the buzz decides to go. Like if you need a fastball, yeah. get down there, then dope. Okay, the Oh no, Ooh. the up smash. 
Not able to short control character that. Yeah, oh, and they up throw. Oh my god. Both of these players uh, in their, jumping in their seats right now. But I feel like in general, it looks like the buzz is kind of tripping him up. He's like making him think he's going low and then being able to navigate back around goes yeah, yeah. high. Oh, that time went super low. Not quite ready for it. Oh, but no tech. Multi-hit. That makes it very difficult to see when you have that tech opportunity. Yeah, he probably, he probably thought he was going to get, go for a neutral air instead. But the multi-hit of uh, that forward air uh, probably messed up his timing. So going to get jettisoned off of that side and got another even game between our competitors. But now the buzz, I mean, he said even. What do you mean? He's quick 58% for you. Yeah. Uh, it's the, the percent is tacking on very slowly. S2H looking for his opportunity, going around these Pikmin, just avoiding the forward smashes, but does not avoid that one. Gets clipped one more time to Buzz, looking a little bit more comfortable now. Now that yeah. he has a reasonable lead. It's the same, my man can't even get a hit. He's only put 1.6 on, that's his one hit of forward air. Uh, that's all he's been able to net so far, the neutral air. Gonna drop in, finish that Pikmin off, but the Buzz, I mean, even with just two. Still threatening, I like that, the F smash. And see, like uh, that right there, like he went so high, and I feel like he didn't have to do that. You know, mm -hmm. I, I get why he did it though, just in case. Um, the buzz that came up with a, uh, well, I guess with a, an aggressive up air, and the buzz did come up with an aggressive up air, but he did it a little late, so he did it under the stage. And the drop down that S2H had to do was way too far down, so he ended up like missing, missing the hit. So yeah. Oh well. I I feel like uh, S2H is really giving the Buzz a run for his money, though. You saw he did a pop-off after game one. He really wants to keep things consistent here, and S2H was <laughs> really keeping up with the pressure. But, you know, he, he just did those small, nuanced recovery mix-ups on the up beat, and then he, he was starting, starting to feel a little bit more clean that time yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah, as you, as you noted, though, man, both our players definitely, uh, definitely got a little bit of a... Uh, I guess like off, out, out of game, uh, body language, a lot of little pop-offs during stocks, during some DI and stuff like that. It's good to see, man. You gotta put your whole mind into it. You gotta put your whole self into it, if you will. But anyway, we're getting to our second game. We're gonna take it right back to uh, FD. And I think this is a good idea. It doesn't give DeBuzz a lot of places to land. Uh, so, you know, he, he's forced to land on the, the main platform of the stage, which is the stage then, uh, or go for the ledge, so you don't have to cover as many options. Right. Okay, another edge guard scenario. Has to throw away the pick. Whoa! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Gonna get spiked, but still able to make it back. Meta Knight, really good recovery in this game, obviously. Yeah. I'm not sure why he fastball like that. Like, <laughs> he, he, instead of hitting, yeah, instead of hitting, I guess, back, he hit down uh, off that ledge. And yeah, that just, I mean, he was way down there, so. Yeah, he like zoomed down to the bottom of the stage. That was really crazy. But here we go. Another ledge trap opportunity. Uses the dimensional cape. I like that. Gets back around. Yeah. Very smart. I mean, he's been throwing out a couple of dimensional capes and actually throwing out the hitbox with it. But this time around, he's like, I just want to, I just want some stage position. Getting slid right back onto that stage, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, the four smash again. He hasn't had time to quite set up for the the purple yet. He's keeping the yellow instead. The back throw, yeah. He doesn't have the blue available for the throw. All right. Oh. Up throw? Uh, yeah. Throw, yeah, that's okay, gonna yeah. be it, man. He's getting a lot of stocks like that too, but again, I think I think S2H is kinda like throwing uh he's throwing himself in like to very precarious situations at these high percents that like if these were low percent uh options that he's trying, I'd be like, alright, it's whatever. But you know, when you're at 182, throwing out a dimensional cape, landing on stage and not actually getting the hit, that that sounds like imminent death to me. Yeah. Oh, not able to follow up afterwards. I feel like, in general, the Buzz has been doing a good job of taking advantage of Meta Knight's weakness. That's the same one that he had in Smash 4, really. It's just the linear burst options. He has the linear dash attack and the linear, um, linear dash grab. And that makes it so he can easily pivot, pivot F smash, pivot grab, or anything that he wants very, very reliably. Will he make it from underneath yeah. the stage? He will, he, yeah. He threw all of his Pikmin away, so he had maximum uh, sh movement, if you will. And he was <laughs> all, all the way to the other side of the stage. That's unfortunate for, uh, for uh, S2H. He just, you know, wasn't able to do anything off that one. Yeah, not quite finding any stray hits that he can land a potential kill with. The drill rush, that should be able to do it, yeah. All right. Very strong lineup right now, though, for the buzz. Yep, just taking his time, using that purple pigment, keeping him in tumble. Oh, uh, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about, the linear approach option. It goes in with the pivot grab. That's easy pickings for the buzz. Yeah. And he, he, again, man, Olimar was such a huge pivot grab range too, so it's not even like he has to like bet on it. He can actually throw that out and miss and probably still be like in a super safe position and not get punished. So yeah, you just, at, at that point in time, it's like, what does Meta Knight do? And you're not gonna like jump at him and try to hit him with a forward air or like a neutral air because all that stuff's lagging. You're gonna probably get grabbed for that too. Yeah. 
Yeah, especially Both the landing fairs. Game. La yeah. Landing fair is much more reliable with like a tall character instead to be able to set up the stuff. But yeah, I guess Olimar is very difficult to be able to land that. And he has the up smashes and the up tilts to, to anti air as well. So it makes it very difficult. Favorite grab not quite coming to fruition, but still pretty much playing on the buzz's games and the buzz's terms right now. All right. Yeah, called out the jump. All right, down throw. Yeah. The buzz definitely looking a lot more comfortable than he was on game one, able to play his game. As to which with a big opportunity, but two Moniques that are able to defend himself at the ledge very, very reliably. Oh, the fourth smash. Yeah, it will catch that spot dodge. Another big opportunity. Oh. Uh, see, I'm glad. See, at that time, I'm glad he actually didn't uh, didn't throw out, you know, the the slash. He just wanted to get back on stage, and so that's good for him. So, uh, yeah. Back. Oh, back here. Okay. Okay. Rising back here. That will be able to do it. Last stock situation for S2H and the winning situation for the buzz. Let's see how this plays out. Just keeping up that spacing. Oh, but finally gets the burst option, but not enough. His stun actually gets clipped, and the purple, it looked like it. I didn't even see him toss it out. It just kind of landed there. And SOA still returning back to neutral, figuring out his, another way to make it in. All right. Yeah, man, he's got, he's got to play this. He's got to play this super, super patient game right now. So, I mean, he's at 133. Any grab, uh, a grab is going to finish him off. A forward air, or pretty much any uh, purple Pikmin hit will, will finish him off. So, he's just... Yeah, he's got to play it super patient, super close to the chest, but only 18% on the buzz, man. Like, and look at the buzz, just keeping his wall up, not allowing him to come in at all. Every time he gets a little space, he's forced right back out to the outside. And even if the buzz is the one that's like, okay, good, good up Even if the buzz is the one that's playing at the edge, you know, he has the whistle, and he, uh, and but the buzz has always been really good at playing with his back to the wall. So. Mm -hmm. Dodge oh, back. Oh, look at yeah. that. He's just like, oh, where are you gonna go? Trying to keep the uh -oh. pressure. Oh, but the percent slowly tacking on. But every time he's been keeping him off with a fair. It's so quick. He's able to just retain back oh. to the neutral position. Oh, the parry! Oh my god. S2H really trying to figure out his way in. Kills one of the yellows. Oh, oh my the god. dimensional cave! The end lag on that. And that's going to be the buzz moving on winner's side. Yeah. That's what I mean. We were talking about that uh, a lot.